this is probably one of my most scary life experiences. This gets so scary just like talking about it, like I get like chills. Hey what up you guys, it's a girl Taylana and welcome back! And today, I have a story time. I haven't filmed a story time in way too long. This story is about the time that I... How do I word this? I had a job and I was working alone and the place almost got robbed. It was not fun. The job itself sucked like major ween. Like, sorry guys, like, <laughs> I have it like three years ago. Yes, I was working as a 15 year old, which I didn't know was not super legal. Low key, they never got like my social security number or any information and all that extra stuff that comes with like actually being employed. This job sucked for a lot of different reasons. So this was like an ice cream shop. Out of nowhere my manager just leaves and didn't tell me where she went. So I was still helping customers. So basically it got to a point where there's only one family left in the store and then they leave. And then immediately after they leave, these two guys come in. But basically how the layout of the store was is like it's kind of like a long like rectangle kind of and it has like a long aisle for putting ice cream topping on. Like, normal, like, ice cream shop vibes. <laughs> so bad at diagrams, hi. So it's like a rectangle or whatever with, a, like, a line. I'm on this side. And then I have this, like, extra back room for, like, supplies and stuff. But there's an extra door to the back that is by, like, the bathroom. And that door was locked. It's usually not, but this time, thank God. It was locked. <laughs> Before these guys even came in, I had like a bad feeling. Like I didn't even see them. I didn't have any like idea who like they were or whatever. I was just, the the store was empty for one minute and I was just like, get this bad feeling. I'm like, something bad is gonna happen right now. And I like had no idea what to do. So I was just sitting there, I'm like, okay. You don't have a reason to be stressed. There's literally nobody here. Like what bad things can happen to you right now? <laughs> it's not a story time <laughs> if things go as planned. <laughs> you see. These guys come in and then I'm like, okay, maybe this is why I'm having a bad feeling. Like something with these guys is going on that's kind of trippy. Like, I don't know. So I'm just still like super peppy and nice and I'm just like, hey, what can I get for you? They order ice cream. Um, I put like a scoop into their cup or whatever and then I give it back to them. Each of them got like medium cups or something and I like hand it to the guy and I'm just like, oh yeah, like here's your ice cream and he takes a bite and he's like, oh my god, this is so good. I haven't had ice cream in like so long and I'm like, I was just like, oh, like, why haven't you had ice cream in a while? Being a nice 15 year old child, like, hi. He's like, no, I haven't had ice cream in so long because he's, he's like, it's gotta be like 20 years. Like, I really haven't had ice cream in like 20 years. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, that's like a really long time. And he's like, yeah, I've been locked up for the past 20 years in prison. This, like, <laughs> That's like not like a starter. It's like, hi, nice to meet you. I went to prison for 20 years for some reason and I'm now I'm buying ice cream from you in a store that's completely empty, like, hi. So I'm like, oh, that's great. Like in my head, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna die right now. Like, what did he do? Why did he get locked up for 20 years? Like, I was super scared. And he's like, yeah, no, can you guess why I got locked up? And I'm like, nah. I'm, I'm chilling. No, I have no idea why. Just chilling. Just working for less than minimum wage. Like, I'm just here doing my job. I'm not trying to get killed right now. He's like, can you guess why I was locked up? And I'm just like, um, no, I don't know. Like, why were you? And he's just like, you know, the prison system's so fucked up now. Like, I got arrested for a DUI. And I'm like, you got arrested for 20 years for a DUI? I don't think that's like hella normal. Like a lot of people I talked to were like, bruh, like that doesn't sound correct unless you like killed someone by like hitting them while he was drunk or something like that, you know? So then I was like, oh damn, that sucks. The police, you know, my phone, which was always on me in this one situation, was not in my back pocket. It was in the back of the store that I would have had to go get to call anyone, my manager, 911, my parents, anyone. Like, I literally couldn't call anyone. Basically, this is all happening. We're still at like the ice cream part and I handed him ice cream or whatever And then he was with his friend So they both got ice cream and the other one wasn't talking very much The other one is just like yo he hands it and he's like I think you could give me a little more ice cream I'm like bro like literally take all of the ice cream I will hand you the entire goddamn tub of ice cream right now if you will get out of my store and not murder me right now Like so I just like I'm like, oh, yeah, obviously I take it. I load that mother up like I <laughs> load up his bowl and I'm just like, there you go. Have fun. I'm like, do you want like free sprinkles or some stuff? Like, it'll come out of my own pocket. So I hand him back the ice cream and then the guy that said he went to prison, he was like, oh, how old are you? You're like, you look like you're old for your age, you know? 
I'm 15, I'm not even like legally working here. Like I don't even know what's going on. He's like, oh, that's really cool. Like, where do you go to school? I lied. I said I went to the, like, the rival school of mine. He's like, oh, do you live around here? I'm like, no, not even. I lived one minute away from this place. I, I'm like, nah, I live, like, hella far away. This probably doesn't sound, like, as scary as it actually was, but I really promise you it gets, like, scarier. So then I take him to the checkout. Okay, so your total is probably, like, $6. He gives me a $100 bill, which is already a little sus, but, like, so I take the $100 bill. I start counting out change, and he's just like, you know what? I think you could cut me a discount in like the most creepy way possible. And as I'm checking him out, this gets so scary just like talking about it. Like I get like chills. So I'm like checking him out and I am like paying attention mostly to counting the money. And this is so smart on their behalf. Like go them. Like they must be pros at this. I'm like focused on that, but I'm still on high alert because I did not have a good feeling. So I'm counting the money and out of the corner of my eye. So basically the cash register was against a wall. There was a little like cutout for the bathroom and the door that leads to the back that's usually open like unlocked he tried to make it seem like he was going to the bathroom when in reality he probably wasn't so he goes back there I think he might have said something like oh is this the bathroom like oh this and I'm like yeah the one against the wall like and he's like okay he doesn't go to the bathroom he like walks over there and I hear him try to open the door to the back like shaking it and trying like pulling on it and I kind of like see and then he just comes back and he's like oh yeah he didn't pee or anything anything and he just comes back they're trying to get into the back like I was so scared this guy had just asked me for like oh you can give me a discount I'm like heck yeah honestly why don't you get it for like two bucks two full ice creams that would have probably been like six to ten dollars or something I'm like two bucks literally here's 98 dollars and change have fun and he was like oh thank you so much and these are like big dudes like one of them was pretty like overweight super tall the other one was really tall and like kind of skinny but they're both like so intimidating Thank God that I had locked that door earlier because I, I never lock it like that was just like a thing because you walk in and out It's not like a thing to come into your mind like oh I should lock this door But like that's just past me like saving possibly my life I don't even know like what these guys were planning But though they didn't just like leave after they getting ice cream They of course decided to sit down. I'm still the only one there like, They were still talking to me and like asking me questions and like trying to get to know me better So to the back of like where I was standing and this there's like this long counter and then a little like like swing door that didn't have a lock on it and then the back door that was locked and no other exit so literally since there were two of them they could have gone to both exits and I would have been completely trapped at like some point I realized that eventually the really big guy he goes and he's still talking to me I try to make it seem all casual and he goes to the the swinging door and he just keeps talking and he's just standing there and the other guy is standing like kind of in the middle still kind of by the cash register so they're almost covering both exits and they're still eating and and they start asking questions like, oh, are you working alone? And I'm like, oh no, my manager's in the back. I was like, I have this really big, scary manager. Like I was trying to make it seem like that, even though my manager was this five foot one Indian woman that literally couldn't, like could not defend anyone for like anything. Like she was so tiny. So I'm just trying to like think of reasons to go to the back. At that time, I couldn't think of one because I was under such high stress, but I was like more alert than most people probably would have been in this situation, which I think was really good on my behalf. So eventually, Actually, they're kind of like on both sides of the store. They're kind of just looking around, like trying to see where like the cameras were, seeing if there's like exits where I could escape from. And like, it kind of seemed to me like they were casing the store, which is like basically like they were trying to see how they could rob it. That's really like the vibe I was getting. They weren't even paying that much attention to their food and were kind of just like, oh yeah, like cool, nice slowly make their way towards the front door and I'm just standing there and I'm so ready to bolt my ass to the back and like lock the door in case they decide to like try to come back but honestly like if they came back I would have been so screwed like I really had no way out and I honestly like after that point I was like this is not a safe place to work there's no exit points like at all so they're still like being all sketch and then start like walking out and then like they get out the door and I take the biggest exhale I'm like and they stand outside of the door and the one big dude sticks his head back in and he goes, oh, did you want us to stay in here? And I'm like, whatever you guys want. Have a good day, guys. He's like, okay. 
Thank you. And so then they go and they don't leave. They stand right outside the front doors that are glass so I can see them. And they were talking and they kept looking inside, like not like opening the door, but it was glass doors. So they kept like looking and like seeing like, oh, yeah, no, like that happened. Yeah, like it was really sketch. So I was like, okay, so I went to the back. I grabbed my phone. I texted my dad. I texted my manager like 110 times and I'm like, you dumb get your ass back here. I'm about to die. Eventually they kind of walk a little bit off to the side so it's not directly so they wouldn't be able to see right through the doors but also the whole like store is glass. Like you can see through everything. You could break a window if you wanted to get in. Like it's super not safe. They got a little bit out of the vision so they wouldn't see me. So I went full ninja. Hi. And I walked up to the door. Like I was cleaning a table and I locked the doors so nobody could get in. So I like basically closed the store. And then my manager calls me and she's like what? Like I, I'm just sitting in my car. I swear to God. I unlock the door. She comes in. I close it. And then I start talking to her. I'm like, why did you just leave me? You can't just leave me. Like, that's not okay. I didn't know you where you were. And I was super feeling not safe anymore. And she's like, trying to ma make it all my fault. Like, like, sorry, like I fall in water in your store like that you don't clean up. And like, sorry that the place almost gets robbed. Like, it's not my fault. Like, she's like, dude, like there's this button under the cash register. I'm like, why didn't you tell me that on my first day? And she's like, oh, I forgot that it was there. I, I feel like that's a little important to tell people. Sorry, people don't like a good idea sometimes, but one of the cases in my life where I was really like, I could like get hurt right now. Like I could die right now. Like that was the vibe I get. Like I can't explain the vibe I was getting, but it was just like, hey, if you guys feel like something bad's gonna happen, maybe like be super aware or don't go do the thing you're planning on doing that moment. Like intuition's important. So, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social media at Taylana Jordan. I will see you guys next week. Peace!